guys welcome back to my channel so today's video i decided to create this half face skull look for you guys i'm used to doing half skulls where just here is all the skull i'll link all the videos that i did on those in the description box below i thought i would switch it up and do something just a little different but i will say doing skull makeup for halloween is definitely a little bit more in my comfort zone so i thought let me start out here in my comfort zone and then we'll expand and we'll have fun with it if you guys are new to my channel my name is amber and welcome make sure you guys subscribe to my vlog channel i'm gonna be doing separate videos from makeup on that channel and then this channel specifically is makeup probably like some skincare or hair videos if you guys want to see how I create today's look, definitely keep on watching. I'm going to be taking this coal liner in my boxy charm. This is from Hollywood and Vine. It's in black. Now, usually I would always say start with like a white or a cream pencil, whether it's an eyeliner or a lip liner to do all your outlinings. This year I'm going to be using a black eyeliner just for the simple fact that it'll help with that shading. I'm going to start with the skull side. You can do any side that you want. It doesn't really matter. I just want to do this side. I feel like a little bit more comfortable than with this side and I feel like I look weird from this angle. So wish me luck. So this is just the outlining part. So this is the part where I can get a visual idea of the base of everything. And then later on we can go on with detail, but this is where in case I make a mistake, this is where I can clean it all up. And if you see me constantly looking that way, it's because my monitor's there. And then if you see me looking like that way, it's because my mirror, my bigger mirror is there. And then I have a small one here. So right now I'm just sketching out the eye socket area. It doesn't have to be perfect when you start it. It's kind of hard for me to explain what I'm doing, but if you can see the detailing, definitely use like Pinterest or like a picture for like a reference, watch a video. So at this point, I'm just kind of freestyling everything. I'm just looking at one of my old photos and then kind of just adding more detail that way. Now I'm going to quickly do the detailing of the teeth. So right now I'm just filling in where, like lightly filling in where I would shade it in darker just so I keep tabs of what I'm doing. So right now I'm just creating the teeth. I promise you the detailing will make much more sense. Now we're gonna go in and just start shading in the color of the skull. If you wanna use Halloween store-bought face paint, definitely go for it, but I'm gonna warn you, a lot of that Halloween face makeup will dry down, it will crack up, and it will be uncomfortable. So that's why I personally love using actual face makeup to do these types of looks. So it's more comfortable and you don't have to spend extra money. It might possibly be in your vanity or in your makeup bag. That's what I love about doing these looks. So taking my high coverage creamy concealer from Huda Beauty, this is in Coconut flakes 10 neutral if you want to use white you definitely can but i'm going to do more of a creamy color skull if you are oily i'd say maybe put something a little bit more mattifying on but i am going to go over top of everything with the translucent powder what i'm going to do with this i'm taking a flat concealer brush and i am just pretty much going to fill in the areas that i want that creaminess color to show All right, so I'm just gonna eliminate a little bit of that upper line a little bit. I didn't like how far down it was. So literally just taking that concealer and covering that up. So I'm gonna be taking this Dose of Colors Sassy Siennas and never used their products before. I was actually gonna purchase this in Ulta, but I actually got it in my BoxyCharm, which is nice. Like I said, if you wanna use black and white as like the go-to colors for the whole look, you definitely can do that. I wanna switch it up and use some other tones. And then it also comes with a little brush too, which is nice. So I'm gonna take the smaller side of that brush and go in with this deep brown. And, oh, bitch. What I'm gonna do is pretty much go over top of that black eyeliner for like the eye socket for instance. I'm outlining it, but then I'm softly like diffusing the shading inward. So I don't wanna go outward with that shading.
and I'm pretty much just lining and softening those lines that I did with shadow. I'm going to take that dark brown. Instead of just lining, I am really going to go into detail with shading in the areas that I want like a solid. If you want to use black, definitely go ahead. I might mix this with black just a little bit. Maybe just to deepen it a little bit more so it's not too brown. But I do want to use something other than black. I'm just going to quickly dip back into my Morphe 3503. You guys know it's one of my favorite palettes. I'm just going to dip into this black right here. Just kind of blend that into the brown a little bit more to deepen it. If you want to paint the whole eye, you can. I don't feel like doing that. I'm just going to quickly shade back in this area. So I'm just going back in with that brown shade. So it seems like a lot, but it's just literally adding on, like once you draw your base, you kind of have total control over the shading and like what you want to do with it. So I'm just pretty much perfecting any detailing areas. If you're doing this on your own and you're following this tutorial, I'd say really focus on like where I'm placing things, but add what you think the look needs. All right, so now I'm gonna shade in the teeth. So I'm taking another Huda concealer, but this is in Whipped Cream 00G. It looks like this one here. So I'm just shading in the teeth. And I am just extending the teeth a little bit more than what I thought I would. So I hate to do this, but I was looking at it and I'm like, I kind of want more defined detail. So I'm going to go back in with that pencil, just re-outline a couple things just to make it a little bit more distinct. And I'm just going in and shading kind of between the teeth a little bit. And I'm just using whatever's left on that brush. You can use a shadow. Y'all are going to hate me, but I feel like... The skull color isn't really popping too much. So I'm going to go in with the color that we used for the teeth. And I'm going to mix it into that shade just to kind of bring it out a little bit more. Pretty much I'm going to fast forward through this. So going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation and my A30 foundation brush from them, I'm going to go in and apply that to this side. I'm taking my Frankie Rose Cosmetics Chai Concealer, I'm going to do the usual. I quickly take my sponge and just press everything in. Taking my Huda Beauty Pound Cake Translucent Setting Powder. And then I'm going to quickly take a big fluffy brush and dip into that translucent powder. Press over top of that area. I'm not wiping. I'm literally like pressing so I don't move anything. But I really just want to set those areas. And I'm pretty much just doing what I would normally do. So I'm going to take my Hoola Caramel Bronzer. We are in the process of moving, so I don't have a lot of my makeup out, but I'm going to be taking my blush from the Bone Cosmetics and Frat Boy. All right, so I just did this brow off camera with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow, but I am going to be using a gel. So also in this month's BoxyCharm, I'm going to be taking this Mellow Tinted Brow Gel, and this is in Dark Brown. And then going back in with this Dose of Colors palette from the BoxyCharm, that middle shade Foxy and blend that right into the crease. I'm taking the shade Brassy. I am going to press that shadow all over the lid. And then I'm gonna take Stay Sassy, which is that really deep shade that we used on this side a lot. I'm going to apply that all over the lid on top of that last shade just to really give that deeper smoky effect. I think I'm actually going to do that smoky on the side. Oh, eye. Taking these two shades, I am going to smoke out the under eye. And then for mascara, I'm going to go in with my Hank and Henry mascara. Since I have lash extensions on, I'm only going to put that on the bottom lashes. I'm quickly just going to go in and touch up the teeth a little bit since they kind of lost their shine. I'm going to take my brown lip liner, one of my go-to favorites for brown lip liners, my NYX lip pencil. 
And then taking my Pure Hollywood from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Going to blend that in with this brush. And I'm just going to add some highlight to the non-skull side. So I'm going to be taking my Amrezy highlighter from Anastasia Beverly Hills. And then to finish everything off, I'm going to take my iconic London Prep Set Glow. So there you guys have today's makeup look. I love it so much. It's definitely simple for me. Not very gory, but kind of you can do like a sexy outfit with this or maybe just do this in itself and wear whatever you want and kind of trip people out. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We're almost to 35,000 subscribers. And like I said in my last video, if we hit 50,000 by the end of the year, before the end of the year, I'm gonna be doing three giveaways here on my channel. So definitely stay tuned for that. But other than that, that's all you guys are gonna get from me today today and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!